On the mark, 68 with you, talking big league baseball for the first time. Isn't it good? And making this tough, almost impossible argument stand. Here's how it goes. In 2007, the Cleveland Indians were the second best team in baseball. They beat the Yankees in the playoffs after winning 96 games. And they took the eventual champion Boston Red Sox to a Game 7 of the ALCS. Now just two years later, in 2009, the Indians finished the season as one of the worst in baseball. And entering 2010, the Tribe may be even worse. Yes, it could get mighty ugly in Cleveland. So this is what I've got for you. Their general manager, Mark Shapiro, he is arguably the best GM in baseball. Let's check out his track record. It is stellar. Travis Hafner, the Indians DH. Yes, not beloved by Indians fans right now, coming off two subpar seasons. But in 04, 5, and 06, he was one of the top power threats in baseball. And even in 07, when he knocked in 100 runs, Travis Hafner was a top cleanup hitter. The Indians got him for Ryan Drees and Anar Diaz. Where are they to be found? As Drupal Cabrera, he is one of the top and very emerging shortstops in the game of baseball. He's a 300 hitter last year, knocked in 68 runs, played stellar defense. Excellent player and very, very young and very attainable for Eduardo Perez, who's on the Baseball Tonight set at ESPN. How about right fielder Shinsu Chu, also coming over from Seattle. Chu, 21 stolen bases last year, 20 home runs, hitting 300 in his first full big league season. He was had for Ben Broussard, who did not sniff the majors in 2009. The list goes on. Probably the best example, here it goes. Bartolo Colon, a very good pitcher, but never really reached his potential with the Indians or anyone else was traded to the Montreal Expos in 2003. Back from the Expos come Grady Sizemore, Cliff Lee, and Brandon Phillips. Yes, Phillips didn't work out with the Indians. We gave him four shots at second base, but he was jettisoned off to Cincinnati and has become a top-flight second baseman. Cliff Lee, yeah, he had a rocky couple seasons with the Indians, but he did win 18 games. And then, of course, had that stellar 22-3 record in Cy Young season before going off to Philadelphia. And Grady Sizemore, yes, injury plagued last year for the first time, but he is one of the best center fielders in baseball. He owns two gold gloves, three all-star appearances, and a 30-30 season in 2008. We could go on and on and on. Ten years after trading David Justice, Jake Westbrook still in the Indians rotation, and still capable of winning 10 to 12, maybe even 15 games. Yes, the Twins and the A's during the decade since 2000 have probably done the most with the least overall. But even the Twins traded Johan Santana and got little back, and much, much of the luster has been taken off of Billy Bean here in the last few years in Oakland. He has made some bad deals. But for Mark Shapiro, uh, he still has to be considered one of the top general managers in baseball. He's playing with not a whole lot of cash. And look at the trades he's made in the last year. Look for these prospects to turn out, especially the great catcher Carlos Santana sitting down in AAA. He was uh, brought to the Indians from the Dodgers for Casey Blake. And there's more coming. It's cyclical. It has to be when you don't have Yankee and Red Sox money. That's how Mark Shapiro plays it. And he's ready for another big run here in the next two to three years in Cleveland. Look out for the Tribe. I'm on the mark, 68. Want to hear what you have to say about the best front offices in baseball? We'll talk soon.